Ephesians, Ephesians chapter, chapter 2, verse 8. For by grace ye are saved through faith, and not of yourselves. It is the gift of Yahweh. Not, not a work lest any man boast. Not a work lest, not a work lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in a Mashiach Yahusha unto good work, which Yahweh has before ordained that we should walk in them. I'd like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yah Bashim El Shah Bashim Kakodash. The Wadi Yah Bashim El Shah. The Wadi Yah Bashim El Shah for giving us apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Who deserved of honors rightfully so. Shalom all to the Akim, pushing the word of sincerity and truth, for being faith witness and being prepared for what is to come. And what is to come. Race wars, famine, concentration camps, star fight, Egypt, which is the mark of the beast. 200 million missiles hit the soils of America. The simultaneous of the children of the Lord, the whole full life into the chambers. The simultaneous of the children of the Lord, shoot nays of the ungodly and the heathens. Rightfully so. I brought this out of the Lord to the cost of this video. Just a vessel seeking salvation out of this filthy place, built you know the Sodom and Gomorrah, the Egypt, Babylon. No way all the filthy customs they have taken upon. Um, this video is sponsored by Faith. This video is sponsored by Faith. It's a gift. And uh, just waking up. Time is 3.53 a.m. in the morning. Tuesday. October 17th, 2023. All hopeful. Hopeful, yeah, all prophecies come to pass. I've been under the weather, and um, I feel like I'm coming back um, uh, from this madness I was going through, man. It was crazy. As usual, being in this society, um, we're going through bad everything. This is not our rest. And we have to keep that in mind. Daily, every day, every hour. Every minute. Oh, man. We have to always keep that in mind. We are under attack. By the same air we breathe. Um, same water we drink. Same food we eat. Our brains defiled, and this place is greatly polluted. Just two verses I'll quote, but I want to find one of them, maybe both of them. Let me see. All right, I'm going to come back to this. Um, This place is crazy. The headline reads for um, Micah chapter 2. Woe to the oppressor. Woe to the oppressor. Let's see. Oppressor. Oppressor. A person who... A person... Or group that oppresses peace and people. A person or group that oppresses people. Woe to the oppressor. So I just named a few things that they're oppressing us with. And um that's why um our, our immune system is being attacked too, man. We on attack. 
So, um, this just popped up this way. I'm gonna read this first verse. Um, Micah chapter two, verse one. Woe to them that devices iniquity and work evil upon their beds when the morning is light they practice it because it is the power of their hand and kind of, and they have the power to do this they have the power to control the um how the resources um who gets it who don't get it they have the power to practice these things and on their bed they lay there and they plunder how they're going to um, destroy you in the morning so when the sun's out, they're ready to do their plan. And you are against the wiles of the, the devil. And so I like you. It's early. I woke up and I was just like, oh, you know, coughing up all this phlegm, getting it out of my lungs, you know. And, um, you know, you drink your tea, you pray to the Lord, ask for forgiveness to protect you, and you stay focused on the, on the prize, which is your Hashem El Shah, the kingdom. So he's a uh, our oppressor, Esau, and the rest of the nation. And he it's so bad he's trying to cover it up now. So how it's an, it's one way that you gotta if you ain't been seeing these pictures, um, I do believe it was a guy named. Donald Rosver, Donald Rosver, I can't even pronounce it. He used to be with um, Senior Bush. He was in a picture with Saddam Hussein. They was all together at one time. So after they oppressed him, who they oppressed, and then he um he he um got rid of him and the evidence, just like the other guy too. After they, after they um, got on when they wanted, he killed them. So they do these things. They plot. The plot is against you. So they strategizing every day. They practicing and they um um woe to them that devices iniquity and work of evil upon their bed and they they in their bed plotting against you, man. And um. See how they can take you down, as a take us down as a nation and the country, the whole earth, man. The whole earth is jacked up because of them. The morning is light. They practice it because it is the power in their hand. It because it is. In the power of the hand, and it is. Um, and they cover fields and take them by violence. I just said, and the whole house and, and houses and take them and take and take them away. So they oppress man and who house and his house, even a man and his heritage. So they do these things, man. I'm talking about this man is ruthless, bro. This is in the spirit. I wasn't planning on reading these birds. I was going a different direction, but spirit is taking course. Salakia. <sighs> So they oppress the man, take his house and his heritage. So I wanted to go to a different. I want. Uh, let's have to read that because the headline read "Woe to the oppressor, woe to the oppressor." And we gotta have faith in that that the Lord is gonna have 
get revenge on our oppressor. I want to skip down to. I'll get back on track now. Okay, so. It says um, Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Arise. And it, you got to mentally arise. Spiritually. Because we know we just can't arise and leave. I ain't got no passport, so there's no way for me to go. You know? You know? You got spiritually arise. You understand what's going on around you? <sighs> understand what's going on around you? That you being oppressed, don't act old. Like, like you're going to, like, oh, oh, ain't nothing happening. People act like that. That's called Stockholm Syndrome. Let's see it so real fast. Let's see, the, let's see what the secretary says. Oh, boy. Stockholm Syndrome mean? Here's the definition of Stockholm Syndrome. Feelings of trust or affection felt in many cases of kidnapping or hostage taken by a victim toward a captor. See? And we just went over the verses with, um, where, um, houses, how to go again? Um, Micah chapter 2, verse 2. And they take, and they cover fields and take them by violence houses and take them away so they so they oppress a man and his houses even a man and his heritage so all that thing happened to that man and what did the meaning of the Stockholm Syndrome mean certain people have feelings for they um for the ones that put them in, in captive for their captive so they all jacked up all of them got all types of feelings for the all. Oh, I'm sick of looking at these people. You know? I'm sick of it. So, so most people have... Stockholm Syndrome. The feeling of trust or affection felt in many cases of kidnapping or hostage taken by the victim towards a captor. And it's crazy, man. That's crazy. That's real crazy. So we gotta spiritually know that it's not a good thing what they doing to us. Okay, so we gotta rise. Alright. Arise. Uh, Micah chapter 2 verse 10. Arise ye and depart. For this is not your rest because it is polluted. And the reason why we came to this verse because we were talking about how polluted this place is. Spiritually, mentally, physically, it's polluted, man. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. And it's going it's destroying us, man. It is, man. This is why we have to explain these things to um, um, to our people that the reason why these things is happening. Because you always running from your true power. The one that gives you everything. So this is the only way back to him. By his prophets. They always been like that on the earth. When you go over it, like um, I, I always say this. Prior before I learned this, I didn't know this. And now it's brought back to remembrance. So this is what I dwell on, you know, for myself too. Like it's been explained to me. That's what I'm looking at. Like wow, I know my, I know my, I know my faults. I know my mistakes. So now I gotta repent. That's our job. I just seen a verse for that. That's a lot. Yeah, I just seen a verse for that. So stand by. Let me see this. Just seen a verse. Um, where was that verse? Where was it? it was in a verse. I 
think was in his heart. In which this is what we're supposed to be doing so we can get forgiveness of our sins. in this one. Alright. Alright. Just this few verses that came across I came across while I was um you know I'm just gathering the verses but the spirit is like guiding me back this way. Alright. So we learned all our we learned all our mistakes. We learned what we gotta do. So now what we gotta do? We are ordained. Let's read this verse again before I read that. I read this verse. Just in the spirit right now. Alright. So and and now we learned that we gotta get out there as men. We gotta get out there for Yah by Shmel Shah. And we gotta walk in them. We gotta walk in their ways. Ephesians chapter two, verse ten. Right? For we are for we are his workmanship, created in Hamashiach Yahusha unto good work, which, Yah which Yahweh has before ordained that we should walk in them. We should walk in what his light, his truth, his understanding. That's how we arise in the part. That's how we get up out of here. Because this is the beginning stage, and faith is is the gift. We gotta have faith in Yahweh Shah so we could be able to stand the wiles of the devil. You know, man, they hate us, man. What a perfect hatred. Even our own people, man. So I had this verse came across. I came across this verse here. It's um maybe a few of them. Yeah, like I said, so now we understand. As being men of the Lord, I brought to one of the men that we got to walk in His light, His their truth. Because now it's it's, it's Yahweh by Yahweh Shah. It's Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem or Kakudash. So they 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 have that Yahweh start with Yahweh. He um put in the, in the stead he put he put in the control of Yahweh of Yahweh Shah, and he got his angels with him. And remember in the beginning. He said, um, uh, when you go back to Genesis, this quoting that um, man could be like us now, something to the fact like that. They gave us the truth, the light, the understanding. But remember, the Lord said he's not going to dwell with us no more. So now we are learning how to do it again. These are baby steps. We got to be fed milk and then we got to eat the meat. All right. First John chapter 1, verse 7. For, but if we walk in the light as he is in the light we should f have fellowship with one another and the blood and the blood and the blood of Yahweh Shah his son cleaneth us from all sin that's where we at and that's where we got our faith in that's where the faith is at in that and that alone, and, have, and that alone, having faith in Yahweh Shah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so it's going up to a verse. Just I just saw this verse right now too. Let's start right here. Let me see. Wow. Yeah, because everybody in the future, it's coming, it's coming, man. This just came, I just saw this verse. Um, in the future, everybody's going to walk in his light, man, because we're going to be the one, the one, I brought the sign one of those men. That's, I say that every day. Lord's will, I'm one of those men. Yahweh's will, I'm one of these men. Because I'm telling you, man, this is where it's at, man. All right, now look at this. I mean, this, and it, as it reads, right, Isaiah chapter 2, just starting here, this is what I just saw right now. Isaiah chapter 2, verse 3, and many people should go and say, come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, 
to the house of the power of Jacob. And he will teach us his ways. And these are the other nations. They're going to be like, yo, man, I'm tired of fucking eating, um, playing, you know, you know, you know how they do now. You know Mondo Magic, fucking playing in animals' asses and shit. You know, all types of madness. Yo, yo, so I'm tired of doing this shit, man. They gonna, if we do this shit now, they're going to zap us with laser beams. I ain't fucking around with y'all. Y'all crazy. You know the fucking language they be speaking. They be bugging out, man. These niggas be bugging. Uh, anyway, so. All right, it says, And many people should go and say, Come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord Yahweh to the house of Yahweh. To Salakia. And many people should go and say, Come ye, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord Yahweh Yahusha, the house of the Lord of Jacob, the power of Jacob, and he will teach us his ways. And he will walk and we will walk in his path. For out of Zion shall go forth the law. So there's a law. And the word of the law of the of the of Yahweh from Jerusalem. And that's where it's at, the law. And he should judge amongst the nations. And he should judge amongst the nations. And shall rebuke many people. And they shall and they shall um, beat their swords into plowshares and spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up swords again, neither shall they learn war anymore. These people gonna be it's gonna be peace on earth, man. I just told you, man. Our oppressor, man, he been fucking us up, man, for a long time, man. And you fuck up his own people. He don't like it. Man, he don't like himself. I don't know he gonna like you. You all, especially um, Jake women, you all wearing blonde hair and stuff. Like, they hate they look. And you all trying to look like them. I was just saying that the other day. I, when I, as soon as I said it, here come down a block, here come a woman with some yellow hair. I said, my goodness. I had to cross the street. And she gave rolling her eyes at me like, oh, God, listen, lady, I'm over here. Gotta go. I don't like that. You Jake women are out of control. All right. Oh, here's the point. Verse 5. Isaiah chapter 2, verse 5. O house of Jacob, come ye and let us walk in the light of Yahweh Yahweh The light is the truth, man. We got to learn this now. So when we get on this side, on that verse 20, verse 2, verse 3. We're going to be on that side. We're going to be teaching them the ways. These other nations, they're going to look at you, man. They're going to see us walking on air. They're going to see us flying around the chariots. And they're going to be down there, you know, looking like, man. You're going to remember everything you've done to the earth, Ashashua. You're going to remember everything you've done. Ashashua. I'm going to make sure you remember. So we can have judgment on you. And rebuke you. Because you ain't going to never get it right anyway. You made to not get it right. So that means you made to get your butt whooped. You made to get, you made to get, you know, dealt with. So, we need to light the truth. <coughs> <coughs> so, back to John. First John chapter 1 verse 7. But if we walk in the light, this is the truth, as he is in the light. Shall we all shine? He and we have fellowship with one another, and we that's brotherly love. Okay? The brotherly love continue. And the blood of Yahweh Shah, Amashiach, his son, cleaneth us from all sins. 
And that's what we got to have faith in. Okay? So, that stuck out. And um, I just wanted to read that one. Um, so, um, let's go back to... Let's go back where I started at. So, we got to depart spiritually. That's a lot. Because we stuck in this shit physically, bro. <laughs> like... Our mind has to be our, our mind has to be single out on y'all watching me on shot. So we, that's how we get the prize. If we have faith in that, we get a body in. But if we um if we get stuck in the flesh, we never gonna get the hell of body in. We ain't getting out of here. Yep. Oh, oh, yeah, I can. So um Go back to this one. All right, this is um Ephesians chapter two verse eight. For by grace are we saved? Are ye saved? And you can't. We are saved by grace because we are, um how you say um grace is we getting our act together, right? Through faith, we have have we have faith in Yahweh Shemuel Shah. So we we have enough time to get our act together, and and by being in this truth. Clarify that you got your act together, but you got to endure to the end. Okay? You have to endure to the end. That's where salvation lies. The end of this, the end of this old, whole old year that the Lord told you to rise ye and depart. Because this is not your rest. You're rising your mind. You stay physically spiritual. I mean, you stay um, spiritual in tune with Yahweh Shemel Shah. He provides you according you know, you know, to the things you need in the flesh. Until you get out of here. There's no um, 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 other way out of here. But do y'all watch your shot? Because it, it clarified. The scriptures clarified it. That's how I understand vocabulary. Okay, I, you got to get this in your mind. Like, y'all watch your shot already said it in the book. You're always trying to read the book, right? But you just going around. You you the one cherry picking. You don't want anybody to read those verses that clarifies things, but you want to pick your verses, right? But at least our precepts, it, it hits hard and it stays on fo focus, focus. And we always take, we take your verses and rebuke you with them. So, we still got the answers. Why y'all about to shout out for that? Oh, wow. locking man because I'm just like I'm so incongested you know um it's like it's going away though you know, I've got all this stuff coming out of me I'm drinking a lot of tea um you know we've been compromised you know now we know why we've been compromised so now we gotta have faith that yeah I'm trying to get about it because uh, and we got it we in grace period right now Soon the doors of mercy is about to close, and you don't want to be on the wrong side of that door. Call on the wrong name. It's so crazy that that they didn't want us to get this right, right? Because you know, you know, when I first started learning Hebrew, you know, it was like I was, you know, I got it, but it was like coming out of, of Pile of mess into something clean, and you still keep it getting hit with the same mess. You know what I mean? And trying to deal with the clean stuff, still getting dirty. So that means you had to regroup, come around, and come a different direction where you have to um, fast and pray. You have to study. You have to study this. You know, because coming out of this goddamn, um, how you say, uh, this shithole world, right? It's greatly polluted, man. It's so much distractions, and it's made. This, like I tell you, they're made. You're made. They're made. 
they, um, when you go to Psalms 83, they tell you that, um, to, so it won't be in, in remembrance. So they try everything and anything to, um, to distract you. And then what comes in? The shield of faith. Gotta have that shield of faith. You know? That's where it's at. <sighs> Having the shield of faith. It's a lot to over here at a time. Okay. I'm gonna bring this home. I I need to find that verse. That verse just jumped in my mind. Shield of Faith Bible verse. According to Bible tools, Ephesians chapter six verse sixteen. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Slot. Above all, taking the shield of faith. So you got. Oh man. Oh boy, you got people done, man. We get up out. If I get up out of here, man, you know the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell you, brother. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna go sit in front of the throne. We say we got a thousand years of whoop on our Shashua, right? right. I'm, I'm about to say, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going, I don't know how many years. Um, I don't know how long I just lay there in front of the throne and just thank him. Thank the Lord, Yah Bashmel Shah, for getting me out of here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be with the other angels laying there in front of the throne, thanking the Lord for getting, getting me up out of here, man. Praising him every day. Throw the crown on the side and just praise the Lord. Um, they did that. Out, um, um, the, out the angels up there doing that now. There's always somebody praising the Lord every day. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 16. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Wherewith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench the, all the fiery darts of the wicked. So that jumped in my head. So I want to get want to get that in there, squeeze that verse up in there, and that's what we want, man. We want protection. That faith you heard the shield of faith, bro. Man, I'm telling you, man. I just we, we are witnessing crazy things happen to individuals that came in this truth, and they going out crazy. I don't want to be that type. I don't want me that type. It's just crazy. It's just insane. It's very spiritual, though. But, you know, in the flesh, you think of, like, what the heck is going on? Come on, man. I'm not trying to go through this again. Man, that didn't help me. They would have, you know, listen. Our apostles, you know, would have mentioned it if those were the names. They're trying, what you got to understand, as men... They realized that this is the only way out. Doing this. That's why they did it. That's why they were doing this so long. This is the only way. And it's and the grace, they know grace is about to run out. They don't know they don't know when it's gonna well, we're getting close to the signs of the times, dealing with the signs of the time, we can see that wars and rules of wars, things is happening. But above all this, they have faith. The shield of faith, man. That these things are going to happen. And then we see it. We witnessing it too, man. I don't know about y'all. I'm witnessing this. I see this. this I'm like, good Lord. We're we going to get the hell out of it. We're done. All right. So it's a lot here. These people are so fucking. This place is so evil. All right. I'm going to bring this home. All right. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. For by grace are ye safe through Faith. Gotta be faith based, baby. Faith based. You understand? That and that not of yourself, but it is a gift of Yahweh Al Shah. This is not of us. This is a faith is a gift. It's something substance. I wanna have a briefcase of faith, man. I don't want a briefcase of cash. If the cash ain't working no more, what the hell am I have that for? Run around with the cash. You go I can imagine when this shit collapses. You know, sometimes I be thinking, like, what's going to happen to those with that all the millions of dollars buried under there? 
Cause it's just a lot to the story. They want to stop. They want you know. We know it's you know. We know that exactly. We see him. You know they want full control to push that thing, but they want to also make everybody on the same playing field. You know. And see what's who are going crazy. And who gonna sell out? <sighs> I brought this out. I'm a man of the Lord, and He preserved me through these times to come. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 For by grace are ye saved through faith And not of yourself It is the gift of your power Verse 9 Not not of work lest any man should boast And you don't want to react like you all proud Like I'm oh, Dig them all <laughs> You don't want to be thinking that you you thought of all this yourself. Okay, you doing this on your own? No, it's not you. It's For we are his workmanship, created in Hamashiach, Yahushah, unto good work, good work, godly work, which Yahweh has before ordained that we should walk in them, and we should walk in His truth and His light. <coughs> in faith in them, not in ourselves, because we ain't got our man. If that was the case, we'd have been out of here already. Or, but through the faith of y'all, by some y'all, so by some crack with us. So, um, that was just a one a quick one. Um, Salaki, if I. Waste any time. But I'll rock this out with the spirit. I'd like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh Shemel Shah, by Shemel Kakudash. The water Yahweh Shemel Shah, for giving us the apostles and the elders of great millstone, deserve double honors, rightfully so. Shalom, Tadakim. Shalom.